Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Alright, so we're gonna do a couple more classes. Uh, I actually didn't see what I picked. It's not Homac, not language or history, not math. I don't think there's a science. Is this battle techniques? Yeah. Another day, another round of battle study. Also, let's get right to it. Last time we learned about Terra Raid Battles. Any of you have a chance to try them out? Terra Pokemon are super strong. More difficult ones will use an even tougher tactic that you'll need to deal with. I'm talking about their Terra Shield. What happens while a Pokemon has its Terra Shield up, you ask? Well, it's way, take, it'll take way less damage for one. It has a big effect on morale, too. Trainers see that shield go up, they feel doomed, like there's no way to win the battle. So here's a question for you. If Pokemon you're battling puts up its Terra Shield, what should you do? Uh, Terra Stalize and attack it. That's right, you're a regular Terra Raid Battle Master, aren't you, new kid? Regular attacks don't work so well against Pokemon that have their Terra Shield up. Having your Pokemon Terra Stalize is an effective method to overcome that issue. Terra Slice Pokemon will do more damage to shielded Pokemon, especially if it uses moves that match its Terra type. Dealing enough damage to a Pokemon with its Terra Shield up can destroy the shield and break the Pokemon's stance. This means that it's important to properly time your Terra Slicing in Terra Raid Battles. In conclusion, as they say, fight fire with fire and Terra Pokemon with Terra Pokemon. Be sure to work together with your teammates to smash through your opponent's Terra Shield. Oh man. I was just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. Guess we're out of time once again. Next class will be our midterm. Aim for a perfect score. Did you say also again? Uh, oh, art. That's right. I forgot that was the subject here. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. <laughs> Sorry to all of you who went to the schoolyard first before finding the right room. Guess we can do our tests in the classroom, at least. It might be hard to write your answers out on the field. Alright, time to put on your game faces and do battle with those test sheets. The higher a Pokemon's special defense, the less damage it takes from special attacks. The following has no effect on a move's damage. The type, the power, the name. <laughs> How many trainers are on a Terra Raid team? Four. What is an effective method? Terra Stalizing. What is Miss Dendra's favorite type? Fighting. Time's up, put your pencils down. Well done, everyone. Ask for your scores at the front desk. Come on, all five. Yes. Alright, so now we're going to take an art. I can't... I don't remember what the art classes were like. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. I've been told that my previous lecture about the terrestrial phenomenon was very well received. Thank you all for your kind words. In fact, Miss Dendra specifically requested that I impart even more battle knowledge to my students. So I've decided that today we will take another look at how a Pokemon can terrestrialize. Give Gibble! Of course, here is Professor Gibble to help us. Now then, Professor Gibble, you would be so kind as to terrestrialize for us. Glam! Alright. What do we got here? Uh, ice! Now, what do we have here? Last class we saw grass type terrorizing. This time we have something of a different shape. Observe a terra jewel resembling a snowflake. It's dendrit 
Arctic shape is stunning to behold. A little chilly standing so close to it. So, class, what terror type do you imagine this jewel might represent? Ice. Excellent, Yagabra. Full marks for you. The reason there's a snowflake shining above Professor Gibble's head is simple. He's now an ice type. Professor, because Professor Gibble is currently the ice type, ice type moves would not be very effective against it. Keep in mind, usually they would deal quadruple damage to Gibble. Now here's some trivia about snowflakes. While snowflakes come in many shapes and sizes, most are classified as hexagons. Just think of it, snowflakes fall from the sky, taking similar shapes without anyone saying they must. Do you not feel the great mystery of nature? The beautiful enigma we live in? Cool. Ha, <laughs> that was a bit of a tangent, but Mr. Jacques' glasses are also hexagonal, aren't they? I almost forgot to mention that you can change a Pokemon's Terra type at the Treasure Eatery located in Mandali. No wonder they love that place there. Though I must say, the cook there is a little prickly. You'll need to get on her good side if you want her help. Well then, next class is midterms. Prepare to fail. I just saw Arvin in the class, in the background again, sitting next to some little kid. Oh, it's so funny that this school is for Maybe even adults, but people of all ages. Alright, give me an art midterm. I'm not sure how they're going to ask these questions without a picture. Because it's time for your midterm. Focus and do your best. And begin. What is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it tears? Mm, I guess Terra Stone. No, it's a jewel. When the answer to question one is in the shape of flowers, what type does it represent? Grass. What shapes are most snowflakes classified as? Hexagons. Where is the eatery that allows you to change a terra type? That's Medali. What makes something beautiful? Uh, there's no correct answer. Time's up. That's it for today's desk. Pencils down. Rather not have students worry about passing or failing in my art class. Tests are tests, after all. Nimona's dead stare, like right at his butt. Anyway, good work, everyone. You can check your results at the front desk. I guess I only need three, but still, it's a little worrisome. It's great to get a test that way. Come on. Oh, five out of five. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to make our way up to the Team Starfall fighting gym. If it's fighting, I need either psychic or flying. But I'll worry about that when we get a little closer. All right. So you are my target. And I will travel here. Alright, so I was able to craft one Zen headbutt, which I think I'm gonna teach it to my Sendaconda. What does he think? Forget Poison Tail. It's my only. Is that really what you think? Alright, he is. Round. I'm gonna get rid of Brutal Swing, I think. Because I have plenty of Pokemon that know dark moves. Alright. Alright, so that also means that he is my main Pokemon again. And we're off this way. We should enter into a new area, too, in this trying to get here. So I might get to catch someone. Sadly, it's not going to be any of them. Oh, 
Choppleberry. I like the ridiculous names. Ooh. What's... He lost another one? Shit. That's not good. You know it's a Pokemon. Yes. Again, I'm gonna catch this thing just because I think they're I can't tell if they're rare or not. Part of me feels like there's a limited number of them in the game. This will be my fourth, so. It's also wild how bad example how easy it is now to catch like a level 50 wild Pokemon. Say okay, poison tail is not very effective. As long as it doesn't poison him. Ah shoot. in one of these. He has, like, no health. How is he staying out? He's doing no damage, so he could at least... Eh, actually, I don't wish that he would do damage if he's gonna fight. I... do have, like... Uh, repeat ball. Caught a couple of you guys, so it should be easy to catch another. Wow. Critical catch. Give a nickname? Yes. Uh, this one. Partner to the others. This one is Marley. Oh, right there's the bit. Alright, area two. If I land on a Pokemon, I get to catch it. Alright. Looks like that is my target. Alright, I should have the advantage here. Um, okay, it's a level 50. Bulldoze might take it out, so we'll just do a rock turn. Alright. Not a lot of damage. Mm. Shit. Okay. 
We have to make this quick if it knows roar. So what do I want to call this thing? Mm. Alright, so Luxray, what do I want to call it? Tell me about it. Uh, it is a... Gleam Eyes Pokemon. It can see clearly through walls to track down its prey. And seek its lost junk. All right. Uh, so. I think I needed. So since it can see through walls, this is going to be Roxy Wolf. I can add. I can make it Roxanne. Roxanne. I know I haven't battled many trainers, so no sense in talking to him. Uh, heal me up. So, um, do you sell Ultra Balls? Yes, you do. Oh wow, you get, you sell a ton of things. Um, all right, uh, um, buy like mm, that's buy thirteen of those because why not? Uh, one of those Ultra Balls buy twenty three. I don't really need heal balls net. Repeat. Most of these I don't see myself really needing. I have 20 revives, holy shit. I guess I just find them randomly. Seem all right, that's eighty eight thousand. Oh, well. All right, now. oh, because. I got close to the thing. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside. There is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Gary Bruh. Gary Bruh. Cassiopeia. So you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. Sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. A few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Cassiopeia is hung up. Alright. Thanks to you, Yabra, I've slowly but surely came to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do. I know what my final decision will be. 
For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Yebra. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. I really hope somehow it's not actually the director. Please don't tell me there's a cipher like right inside of me. Wait. You're pretty skilled. No, my trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Aerie, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. I'm not going to say anything, I'm a silent protagonist. Who are you? Erebor, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. She and her Pokemon came at me without warning. You're just battling it out. Riri. I knew you'd be out here. Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Until so the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the cap uh, squad. Everyone else at Team Star 2. That's why you should get back into the base. Rest up, even just for a little bit. It's the boss of this squad. I, I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a Hasta la Vista from you. Nice and loud. Hasta la Vista. Okay. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Yager, bro. My Pokemon and I are actually run on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could handle this run alone? You didn't come with potions? Thanks. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm so ready. Then here I come. Oh, the fighting types, right. Part. So that's part poison. Ah, what's psychic coming? Okay, psychic super effective. They both are. One shot. Oh, I wonder if I get to see an Annihilate just now. I didn't even look to see what level these Pokemon are, but I'm assuming like 50. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Ah, oh, so the V Star. I take it you defeated the guard out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Cap Squad. Their boss, Eerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most. Alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. 
she retreated? We're talking about the same Eerie, right? Seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. Oh! He was right inside of me. Alright, so who do I want on my team? I have to take out fighting Pokemon. No one's really overly suited to, for this, so. I'm just gonna take in these three. But one thing I did see is this and this in prison. Right now. Let's just get right into that base. Yep. Challenge. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? I don't understand this logic. Why? Make Use all of your Pokemon. You only have to beat my 6. I like that it's like just one after another, not three random ones, because that is going to be a problem for my time. I would not have guessed that was fighting. Someone, I'm hoping Egbert takes out that other one. Nah, uh, maybe he didn't. Alright, heal me up real quick. Oh wait, that's that thing. So this will get me up to 26. Um. Alright. Those two get me up to 28. This one's 29. And just one last quick heal before we get into the boss fight. I, I don't think we can hold him off much longer, boss. Boss, the team stars fighting crew. Eerie. Eerie. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Oh shoot. I just remembered the last Team Star I faced. It's the one where I had to use items. Oh, it's a heal ball. That's interesting. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Um, I guess. Yeah, he's part poison. Fighting, so ground would be ideal. Because it'll get a stab boost. 
if it's super effective. So I get a... Am I doing quadruple damage here? Because I get a boost for using a... Terra for terrestrializing. A boost for it being the same type. And it should be super effective. Yeah. battling. It'll be fine. Uh, what's up, past Simeon? Alright, I'm gonna guess it's it's not poison. I think it's grass. And fighting. Ooh! Why did it do so much damage? Oh, it lo loses its... I give as good as I get. It's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Uh, that hurt. Uh, another shot like that and I'm out. But if I heal after just one attack, I'm... I might not be making any progress. Annihilate... I want to see it. What the fuck is that? I need a hyper potion. Oh, it looks so cool. And like, it could really beat the shit out of my Pokemon. Alright, so it did... 73 points of damage, but it took it, it lowered its own defenses to do it. Shit. Another close combat. Alright. If I do. 100, heal 120 and then he attacks me. I'll be at like 90 if he uses close combat. Which hopefully he doesn't use close combat again. Really? Quicker than it. I might have to switch in the middle. Switch to another Pokemon. Alright, Lucario. Fighting Psychic. It's fighting and Psychic. So Ghost is a... Ghost would be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Should be. I hope so. Do Copy have any dark attacks? I guess it's. Oh, wait! He's fighting in steel! That's right. So he's weak to. Raise my special. You're supposed to raise my special because of the thing I did. I, I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. Did I get my. Uh... So I don't get a special attack boost for that? Shift gear. Alright, so speed rose sharply. And attack rose. Shoot. Alright. 
his defense rose, but I'm doing special attacks. Alright, I should need four attacks to take him out. Please don't do a physical attack. Oh, I might actually be able to... Okay, I should just need one more attack to take him out. And he's shifting gears? He's not even gonna attack? Ah, you're you're not good at fighting. Oh, she, she disappeared off of it. I was expecting an attack. So sorry, everyone. Flashback, 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 flashback. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Did she kill a person? Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practices so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides toward mastering the art of battle, and I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Eerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the biggest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. I'm just... Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. Lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is. Just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but that wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Team Star's fighting crew defeated. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. Oh, that explains it. That was a good move. I know you're part of Operation Starfall. I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon looks at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just re really <laughs> looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the team star. Remember you battled at the gates earlier? I asked her to come along for a walk talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Eerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, all right, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, and everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. In the end, kids are always fickle, and once one throw wears off, they look for something new. Before long, class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me, even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. She invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. She really is. Joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. 
fun, there are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, uh, no, I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Man. Can't believe a Pokemon game and one of the three stories is about bullying. Where's the tattoo? Here, bruh. It's me. Hi. Did you do it? Did you claim Eerie's star badge? Absolutely. Without its boss, the calf squad should be a, a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Eerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there, Yagerbra. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you, too. Thanks. How about your reward, Yagerbra? Transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. That stuff you've never used? Here's some more. You can now make more TMs. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Yagerbra his bonus reward now. At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disbanded for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. <laughs> Clive's surprise. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Jagerbra, yeah, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time? I scarcely thought it possible. With this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. Seems we'll find out answers after dark in the Academy's schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Alright. That's exciting, but that's a problem for the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to come back next time where I guess we'll battle Cassiopeia. And that'll. Because I'm thinking that doing the Elite Four for the Pokemon League or whatever it's called here is something I want to save for last. Be sure to come back next time. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!